Good morning, children. We finished with the MCB reader chapter Kindness of Strangers. Did the exercises. I hope you have done your work. And today we'll start with workbook. Today we are going to start with workbook. So have you opened your books? Let's see. What is it? We are going to learn how to frame questions. How to frame questions we are going to learn here. It's my sister's. According to the picture, we have to frame a question starting with whose. Whose is a question word. So how do we frame questions? When we frame questions, what do we have to keep in mind? Something important I'm going to tell you here. Let's see. Whose toy is it? Whose toy is it? And don't forget to put a question mark. You must put a question mark if you're asking a question. Whose toy is it? It is present. Now, next is answer has been given. We have to write the question. It's Pratibhas. What is? What do you see here? It is a bag. So, we say whose bag is it and a question mark we are using whose we are using bag is it we are not saying it is we are saying is it when it is a question we have to use auxiliary first and pronoun order now later on next is next picture is shoes they are ranis the answer is they are ranis so what do we do here is Whose shoes are they? We'll say are they and a question mark. They are. They are is in the answer. Question will have are they. Whose shoes are they and a question mark. It is Mr. Reddy's. We are talking about the car here. So what do we do here? We say. We say, whose car is it? And a question mark. Next is a set of parents. They are smithas. So, what does it say? They are smithas. We'll say, whose parents are they? Whose parents are are they so it will be they are smithas next page you have four dates given and the four people's name we have to ask a question about these these are the birth dates of four people given here we have to ask questions about the birthdays so first we'll have to ask a question then we'll have to give an answer also first is Whose birthday is on 2nd October? Tell me fast. Whose birthday is on 2nd October? It is Mahatma Gandhi's. So the answer is it is Mahatma Gandhi's. Number 2, 19 November. Number 2, 19 November. Whose birthday comes on 19 November? Indira Gandhi's. It is Indira Gandhi's birthday on 19th November. Whose birthday is on 14th November? Oh, your beloved. Chacha Nehru is Pandit Nehru's birthday on 14th November. Whose birthday is on 5th September? We celebrate Teacher's Day. So, it is Dr. Radha Krishnan's birthday on 5th September. Clear? This is very easy to do. Next page. The questions have been given and we have to answer. We have to write the answer. Whose brother was Yudhishthir? Who can tell me? Whose brother was Yudhishthir? Whose brother was Yudhishthir? Hmm. 
Yudhishthir was Bhim's brother. And whenever you talk of possession, whenever we talk of possession, remember we have to use a apostrophe S. We have to use apostrophe S. Please don't forget to use apostrophe. Yudhishthir was Bhim's brother whose boss had a loud voice. Ali mind beam beam to over a teddies. Remember the chapter? And he went to bed. Whose voice ha, boss had a loud voice? Ali's. Ali apostrophe S. Okay. But it's, whose wallet is this? It's mine. Whose pet was Ricky Tiki? Ricky Tiki was. Teddy's pet. Teddy's pet. Fine. Liking the chapter, no? Liking the exercises? Now ask questions based on these answers. Beginning with whose. Again, we have to use whose to start a question. It's mine. But there is no picture this time. So we have to think on our own. It's mine. So what do what can we say? Uh, something that belongs to you. Okay, let's say who's let's say who's oh it's okay um who's 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 uh, bat. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Whose bat is this? And a question mark. So whose bat is this? Question mark. They are Mohit and Meena's pets. Now we know we have to talk about pets. So we'll say whose pets they are they. Whose pets are they? They are Mohit and Meena's pets. It's Uma and Mani's house. Whose house is this? Is it? Sorry, it given a it. So we'll not say this, we'll say it. Whose house is it? Next is it's Ravi's. What is there? So we can talk about pen or pencil pencil uh, it's Ravi's whose pencil is this who sorry it whose pencil is it whose pencil is it we'll say it's Ravi's it's Mala and Tara's umbrella it's Mala and Tara's umbrella so we'll say whose umbrella is this Whose umbrella is it? It's Mala and Tara's umbrella. It's Mala and Tara's umbrella. Fine. Next page. What are we going to do here? Using because. What do we have to do? We have to use. Sorry children. We have to use. Because. We use because to give a reason. Why do we use because? To give a reason. When you say, teacher say, ask you, why didn't you do the homework? I didn't do because I forgot. Because I had gone for a party. So you use because to give a reason. My bag's heavy because... There are lot many books in it. There are many books in it. Mother is tired because, oh, she has worked for a long time. She has worked for long hours. So she's tired. The dog barked because, what do you see? Oh, a bird flying away with its breath lies. The dog barked because it saw a bird Taking away its bread slice. 
Next is student you see first there is a blank and then the line given. So we have to put the beginning. We don't have to add the ending. We have to add the beginning. Because he was hungry. So the baby was crying. Hungry me convert. What happens? The baby was crying because he was hungry. The baby was crying because he was hungry. Because my chair broke. Oh, oh my God. I fell down because my chair broke. I fell down because my chair broke. Because she's a fast runner. So do you see a girl winning the race here? So let's call her Rina. Rina won the race because she is a fast runner. Rina won the race because she is a fast runner. Next page. We have to use the punctuation marks. We have to use the question marks or full stops. Police inspector. Let's see. Let's do one thing children. Yeah. Now. Police inspector is asking where do you live? So if it's a question. It will have a question mark here. Where do you live? And a question mark. Raghu says of course I live at home. Everybody lives at home. So we have a big full stop here. Police inspector is upset don't be funny what's the name of don't be funny and there should be a full stop here what's the name of your town followed by a question mark followed by a question mark Raghu says patna so after patna put a full stop form negators by using an or n in front of these words happy unhappy Healthy, unhealthy, correct, incorrect, correct, incorrect, sufficient, oh, ho, ho, ho. sufficient, insufficient, kind, unkind, okay, fun and uh, it's fun doing. Opposites, verbs, pronouns. But I to love such exercises. Okay. Yeah. Now we have to use the new words. Whatever we have made here, we have to use them in these syntaxes. It is dash to not give your pets enough to eat. Oh no. Apni detyo, then you are called unkind. It is unkind. Do not give your pets. It is dash to eat chocolates all the time. Oh yeah. Is it a healthy food? No. So it is unhealthy to eat chocolates all the time. Only one of your answers is. Only one answer is. Rest all are correct. Only one is incorrect. Only one is incorrect. The children were. Dash as they could not go to on a picnic. Oh, how sad. If they are sad, they'll be unhappy. They'll be unhappy. The food on the table is dash to feed 20 people. Come here. It's not enough. So we can say insufficient. We can say the food is insufficient. Okay, children. So, I hope you have understood the exercises. Otherwise, you can ask me in the online class any doubt. Fine. We'll uh, see you next class. We'll do the remaining exercises. And please fill your workbook in a very neat handwriting without skipping the work children. We really do not know when will the schools be able to open again. So, if you have to stay at home, please keep doing your work regularly. Okay, bye-bye.